How's it going? Tyler Wagner, therapist here. I was just uh, <clears throat> again in the Smoky Mountains. My wife just graduated from school out here back east, so we got a chance to come back to the kind of old stomping grounds of parts of where my wife's family comes from and where she was raised. We're actually sitting here at a place called Metcalf Bottoms, which is a place that my wife's grandfather, her papa, used to bring her when they were kids, and then he ended up bringing us with our kids and his grandkids, great-grandkids, to the same place, this very place right here. We'd bring our kids when they were little and they'd come and splash in the water and look for crawdads and find cool rocks and get in water fights. And we'd get to go in kind of the mountains back behind here and go for hikes and things. And I'm sitting here remembering all of those things. And then I've been with my wife for the last couple of days just driving around all of these old places where she grew up at and hearing her stories and hearing the ways that she was shaped and the ways that she grew. And I can, in her stories, as I'm hearing her tell these things, I can actually see how they molded her into the woman that she is today. And I was thinking about that in our own lives, that we all have a backstory. Every one of us has a backstory. We have roots and and for better or worse, our roots matter. They matter in the way that we shape ourselves. They matter in the way that we grow. They matter in the way of, of understanding who we become. And I believe that there's some value in taking the time to explore our roots, to be grateful for the places that we came, even if we've come through hard from hard places, but to be grateful because every bit of those things has had an impact on the person that we're becoming. And I was just thinking about my own family, my own family tree, and so grateful to those who have come before me, my grandparents, my parents, for the things that they did, the, the challenges that they conquered, looking back from generation to generation, somehow seeing that every single generation was in some ways doing the very best they could. And that in certain ways they marked, in some ways, the path for who I'm currently becoming. And having the really heavy thought that I'm actually marking a path for who my kids are becoming and, and impacting them in certain ways. And I'm so grateful, even though not all of it's always good. I know that there's probably some damage I do to my kids once in a while. We all do. But I'm so grateful to be able to sit and think back, to know that there's a chain that goes on all the way back, and that there's a chain that will continue to move all the way forward, and that I'm a part of that chain. My hope is, is that I can be what's called a transitional figure in that chain, someone who breaks the things that need to be broken and strengthens the things that were good. And I challenge every one of you guys today to think about your own family tree. Where do you fall in the family tree and what kind of a transitional figure are you? What patterns and traditions need to be changed and you might be the figure for that by taking different steps or setting new boundaries? And what are the things that you could be grateful for that you might want to reach back to some people in your life? Send a thank you note or give a phone call and express gratitude to those who have impacted you in the good ways that have helped you to become the person that you are today. Uh, Hope that's helpful. Have a great day. Thank you so much for being here with me. If you found this to be valuable for you, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you're facing particular struggles that you need help with or roadblocks that you're running into, please submit a question. I'd be happy to answer it for you.